McLaren's latest model, the 570 GT, the British supercar maker splits a well-coiffed hair. GT stands for Grand Touring, which generally means a little bit of a back seat. Not here. However, McLaren's added all the other GT touches, like softer suspension, more cargo capacity, less twitchy steering, all of which promise to make this car more debonair and less diabolical than its siblings. The first thing you notice about the 570 GT before you even take off is the front of the car and how it simply falls away. Your forward visibility is perfect. The second thing you notice is how insanely beautifully mechanical the car is. The throttle rolls in smoothly and feels linear. And it has the same sweet seven-speed gearbox that's in the rest of the lineup from McLaren. With 562 horsepower, not sure why they couldn't make it to the 570 of the car's name, and 443 pound-feet of torque, this is still a very serious sports car, even with all the added feature comforts. The GT's price starts at $187,000, but my test car came with special wheels and paint, bringing it up to $210,000. Handmade sports cars have always been beautiful and fun, but historically, not always flawless. In the past, generally speaking, the lower the production numbers, the higher the problems. But McLaren has got this car really locked down. The details are beautiful, the fit and finish is flawless. It's a purpose-built machine, and that allows McLaren to do what they do best, and not have to worry about all the extra tech and autonomous features that other car makers have to focus on today. As you know, I just had a lot of fun in the 570 GT, your latest model, and I'm really curious to hear from you the genesis of, of a GT for McLaren. Well, first, we're glad you had an opportunity to drive it. The response has been uh, phenomenal. It's a second variant in the uh, sports car segment of our model lineup. We delivered our first car in December 2011, so we've only really been selling cars in this market for just over four and a half years. It's a uh, glass back roof, upgraded interior. It's more cargo space, and it's a softer suspension. So it's, um, it's appealing to a, um, a brand new Conquest uh, customer for us. You see the customers throughout, even this weekend, very engaged in the brand, because they feel like that they're part of the brand, because they've been here from the beginning. Good luck with the car. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Thank you. Sad to give it back. <laughs> Thanks for giving it back. <laughs>